When logging on to the online ticketing system to either review or to create new tickets, the first thing you're going to do is log into the support section of Dytacomp.com, which should look familiar right here. Then you're going to click on the Help Desk Login button. Once you click that link, it's going to come up with a new login screen where you're either going to enter your license number and your zip code, or if you have been assigned a specific username and password for the online ticketing system, you'll enter that here. When you click Submit, if you currently have any open issues personally, they'll be listed here. If you want to view open issues for your entire company, you're going to select the company from the drop-down, and I still, Dytacomp Development Corp. has one open issue. <clears throat> this was a test issue that I had created, so there's no information in it, but you'll see, once you open this ticket here, you will see the issue number, if it has a category, the status of the ticket, the substatus, the group that your ticket is assigned to, the technician that's currently working on your ticket, the priority your ticket has, your company name and your customer, uh, the summary of your ticket, a current update if you're if the technician is currently working on the issue you'll be able to see what's currently going on whether it be with our QA team or development team uh, if the technician is waiting for a backup to be sent if the ticket is resolved if you're viewing your older issues you'll see the date it was resolved and the resolution if it's a mom ticket that you're opening or reviewing you'll also have these four other options about the latest program update the executable date that you are on, if it consistently happens, and if it can be replicated on a different workstation. If you want to create a new ticket, you're going to click Submit New Issue, and you're going to see a very similar screen. In fact, it's identical. So once you're on this screen here, your issue number will automatically be populated uh, with the status. It's automatically going to be assigned to the group Online Ticket. It's automatically going to be given an error priority, which is a higher priority, so that it'll get resolved quickly, uh, your company and customer again, and then you would type in the summary of the issue that you're experiencing. <clears throat> After that, again, if this is a mom issue, you would answer these questions below, and you would click Save. If you have an attachment you'd like to add, you click on the Attachments tab. So if you have a screenshot to attach or if you have a PDF document, you could attach this right here. Once you hit Save, this information will be added directly to our ticketing system. So if I actually go through and type Summary here, and I answer these questions, I hit Save. Now you'll see that this new ticket here it's an online ticket, it has the error priority, and you would be able to then go back in and review the ticket. If you'd like to see your closed issues, or suspended issues, or pending issues, or just all issues, you can also do this. And it'll give a list of all of your old closed tickets. If you have a ticket in suspended, waiting on the development team, you'll be able to see all of this information right here on the online ticketing system.